Could the next war be won by artificial intelligence? And is Britain ready for the fight? Google's just reversed its pledge not to develop AI for weapons, warning that free nations must lead in AI defence capabilities. It's a clear signal the AI arms race is heating up. We also have pressure from government in particular to accelerate and uh, adopt AI in defense and in national security with a view to consolidating advantage or at least with a view to not creating um, the conditions for strategic surprise and giving their adversaries an advantage over them. But a recent parliamentary report has warned that Britain isn't moving fast enough when it comes to military AI. It says the UK has the potential to develop a first-class defence AI sector, but that it is currently underdeveloped and needs significant cultivation by the MOD. It also highlights the need for improvements in digital infrastructure, data management and the AI skills base to realise the potential. In short, we aren't in a position to lead in this field. Meanwhile, the US is already testing AI-piloted fighter jets like the X-62A Vista, which has shown advanced dogfighting skills under AI control. It's also developing AI-enabled drone wingmen like the XQ-58A Valkyrie to support piloted aircraft in combat. China too is investing in AI-assisted decision-making, autonomous naval systems and drone swarms. The question is, where does this leave the UK? The United Kingdom is leading in Europe in terms of the number of defense AI projects, and it has been since uh, uh, the beginning of the 2010s. That is that can be construed as a measure uh, of the United Kingdom is leading in defense AI across Europe. But of course, are we behind because we are behind on uh, adoption? I think that's a very valid point. Uh, if we um, seem to be able to research and develop AI technologies, but we are failing on bringing them over into effective military capabilities, well then, that might actually signal the fact that we are falling behind if adversaries are better than us at doing that. The UK is working with allies through AUKUS, which includes AI-related cooperation, but much of its focus has been on submarines and other advanced technologies. So is this partnership enough, or should Britain invest more in homegrown AI capabilities? The United Kingdom could not do it by itself. There are elements where the United States and economic and commercial actors in the United States already have a very solid place in the UK uh, AI ecosystem to the degree that it would be very difficult at this point for the United Kingdom to catch up. The United Kingdom, through its niche strengths in the area of defense AI, can contribute to shaping um, areas such as interoperability. Then there's the ethical debate. Should AI be making life or death decisions in combat? The defense AI strategy was very, very clear from the beginning in that the UK would uh, pursue a very principled, uh, um, human-centric and ethical approach to the deployment of AI on the battlefield. Um, moving forward, there are elements which I think need to be strengthened to be able to ensure that your principles in relation to the ethical deployment of AI are quantifiable and measurable. So the UK appears to be at a crossroads with AI-driven defence. Either invest in it or risk becoming reliant on those who do. Claire Sadler, BFBS Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.